really good ways here to facilitate the Angela in the mid lane. Natan. And there it is, Natan. Yeah. Makes more sense. We have seen Shadera milk this hero so much. Yeah. It's just insane. Round two will commence for the Red Robots against the Cavalry. This time around, El Momento once again, Arashi, on a different hero that can create this momentum. Momentum is the name of the game, man. And I'm getting flashbacks, nightmares to the old utility support meta, right? The Angela, along with a Phobius with an Alpha. So many ways for Team Liquid to just get Pryo, get aggressive laners to just get rolling. And on top of that, imagine you're trying to open up the map against a troll, a Fovius, and an Alpha, dude. It's just so terrifying. But on the top side, this is the strong side for Bigatron. And Mon has to try and assert his dominance once more. Even in the area, he's definitely feeling a bit of pressure. We'll have to see, though, if Witty can perform the same way Keyboy did and kind of throw a wrench into the plans of this trade wheel. Same way Keyboy. Oh, oh, what? Mid lane action, first squad falls for Team. And what happened? I think Supercan just invested the retribution on towards, uh, you know, Yeheskiel and he didn't even have the time to use the flicker as well. So it was comboed with the... Um, Sacred Hammer? From, yeah, Sacred Hammer Pedro. Get the push. Once again. So good. And now in the mid lane is so witty. So that rotation early oh. from witty top lane actually caused them damage. Looking at the ambush by Indie Home though, Bargain Hunter for both the gold laners. I mean, it's just super Lucan, I think it's... Going at it. But yeah, if you see for if you look at Team Liquid ID, a lot of emphasis on the wilderness blessings, the agilities, they want the movement speed, man. They know they need to outmaneuver Bigatron Alpha. They want to make use fully of the high pressure fighter composition. But now against a Tigreal, not level four just yet, they're gonna try and rush it down. Team ID has a more space here to take the turtle, and it seems like Fabian will claim the first feud of the game. 100 percent still for Fabian in that turtle take. Not even Turtle. The Lord is also taken all of them by Fabian so far in this series. But right now, Pikachu and Alpha, they're kind of in control of the game just a tad bit, Arashi. Just a tad bit, but the jungle is a whole different story, man. Pikachu, uh, Pikachu once more is having the difficulty of Super Ken getting zoned out. In this early game, the Troll, the Fulvius, every one of them, if they get their hands on Super Ken, he's gonna be in a load of trouble. So they have to wait around, wait a bit longer, but... For now, man, this Alpha is just farming up a storm again and again. Oh! Seems like now that's gonna be an engage, but oh, simple, simple flicker there just to disengage. So, two overreactions there coming in from both of the teams. The secret or the implosion just to cancel out the kick coming in from Weedy. And now Vivian might be in trouble. Sacred Hammer, oh. that's a two man knockout. Oh, never mind. Damage isn't there. He actually. With the DPS, he allied, he might find a connection. Our guard invested to save King. Oh man, Fabian said, call the ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> he just wants to go back to so just fighting back against Bigatron, man. He doesn't care about the disadvantages. On the strong side for Bigatron, and Man is trying just to punish but Aaron Shiki. Man, this kid's leaning is just something to be amazed by. You saw him get solo killed by Eman earlier, but. You know, Eman is one of the best, one of the most intelligent gold leaders in MPL ID. And Aran Shiki is having an okay time dealing with that. So it's all about this mid lane pressure. And the Cho, as we can see, has so much more to offer than the, the Tigreal. Tigreal will require someone else to open up the map. And unless Super Luke participates in some of those fights, he can't really be as risky as Witty is doing on this Cho. Top lane though. I don't think there's going to be any engage. But now, round two of the objective battle in the second game. What's gonna be the fix here, Hirashi, for Pikachu and Alpha? I don't think they can even go for this. They have to go for some kind of pickoff first. Possibly onto Aran right here. Let's see. Can TLID find still the perfect mute of the series? Pikachu and Alpha looking for an engage. Aran pops the Inferno Pursuit. But that is still Fabian. That's an oh. implosion! Four man implosion! And oh, that's the last. Pikachu and Alpha actually finds a better trade with Amon. Free hitting Super Luke finds the double. Definitely a W for Pikachu and Alpha. They lost the objectives, but who cares? They got the kills, three of them at then. Three kills on the early game pressure fighters of Tim the Good ID. Definitely a massive uh -oh. W. Oh, Aaron Shiki. Oh, he's stuck. Seven Force popped. Entropy will not save Aaron's life. Good setup. 2v1. Wow, that was a very not Aaron Shiki like mistake coming in from him. Yeah, I mean, 
overextending there, knowing that his team is kind of behind due to the outcome of that turtle fight. But Team Liquid, you gotta be a bit more careful when they're grouping up like that. The implosion is a, such a great tool, especially in the hands of El Momento. Key, well known for performing well, finding the right moments when he's on these massive AoE engage tools. But Team Liquid has a team that knows how to adapt, so you can actually see that happen, but look at this! Implosion! After a tree. That's just weedy though. That's another information for Bigatron or, or for TLID. A reminiscence of Beloisky versus Keyboy. The last match. Every time Keyboy was in the vicinity, it's always implosion, implosion, implosion. Doesn't care who's the target as long as I get one. In this case, it's different though. If Keyboy is, uh, if Key, sorry, <laughs> is forced to actually use the implosion onto one single member, that might mean that they can't really contest the fight at all. Oh, Dragon on towards the Roman, that will be enough damage oh. for Key to pop the flicker. In the mid lane is going to be 2v1, but Ron holds his ground. So both teams here just still trying to find the connection. And Biggertron though, a thousand gold lead. Happy birthday, look at the setup here. Team Liquid ID already in position. They left the Angela on the bottom side. Yeskyo even backs away further, knowing that it's about that macro play that they're going to use to try and get an advantage in this fight. No, if the dragon does so far from Weedy, so they have to wait for this to actually. There you go, Weedy, it's a play. Yep, look in for the Jet oh! no way of Dragon finds a Super 10. But now the turtle takes oh, Super 10, man. finds a first dude. That's gonna be the fight. Pa final slash as well pops. Oh, that's gonna oh, be Weedy actually taking down Super Loop next as well. It's a 3 4 2. T L I D. Sphere of Alpha. What a connection. Who water Rashi? Three kills and two plus the objective? Well, the... Wait, the turtle... Who did the turtle actually go to? It was a Super Ken. Oh, oh Super Ken. Super Ken got it. All right. So there was a, a, a steal technically, but I went shaky. What are these items, dude? Man! I thought in the fight earlier it was all the alpha, but look at this. Come on. Off the shower force. Now key invested. They can steal as well. But I went shaky. Too slick with it. In the bottom lane, it's going to be Super Ken looking for an angle. But oh. Fabian is still too th tanky now, with one item in hand now in the bottom side or in top lane. Aaron Cheeky with the witty, they find uh, the connection on towards Iman, and that's Aaron Cheeky picking up the extra goal. Oh, now he isolated wrong for way, buddy, and that's Aaron collecting the double hook, line, and sinker for both Key and Eman. They thought they could pick up Aaron Cheeky, but the Uno first card coming from TLI. More to go here, Weedy looking for Super Ken. Good spot, but that is just him trying to zone out. Perhaps baiting the retribution, but Super Ken still holds his ground. TLID, the recovery. Dude, I'm the analyst, but explain to me what the heck is Team Liquid ID's mid game? Every single time, even when they snowball or they get behind in the early game, this mid game somehow allows them to just catch back up and gain the advantage. Now using the macro pressure, now using Witty. Moreno. Bottom lane, they will not commit on towards the uh -oh. just yet though. Uh -oh. Spots Witty, Witty. Actually isolated and taken down, punished. Bigatron Alpha finds the better trade. Oh, do they have enough time here? It's a 4v5 for Bigatron Alpha. Not much of a gold lead. They have the El Momento. And they actually pull the trigger! Breaker Implosion! That's gonna be TLID responding though as Super Loop finds the kill. Bigatron Alpha, they managed to find the better trade, but Moreno uses the IMU defensively with the Spear of Alpha in hand. Oh, oh that's the Spear of Alpha! The OG one, and that was Yaskio flickering to find the kill. Bigatron Alpha, they're long. Can they find oh. the recovery? Oh. Your fight is still there. Now we really looking for a oh, Goodness! Aaron Shiki shreds him down. They got the kill. They got what they wanted. But the pressure towards the Lorpin. TLD cut them all. What is this pressure from Aaron Shiki when he only he had, he didn't have the holy crystal just yet? We see Nitans pop up when they get the three item power spike, but only with the Starlium he was able to do all that for his team. Team Liquid ID taking advantage of the macro pressure, taking advantage of the sustain built in from the Angela. They're able to out, out poke Bigatron, force them to go for a fight with low HP bars, and Aaron Shiki just pops off. 2k gold lead advantage for Team Liquid ID. And over here in the mid lane, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, Bigatron, they will just have to sacrifice their turret. Oh, and the bad thing is, it's not enough time on the other side. Plus, a T-Grill. It's only a T-Grill with Emlon. That kind of falls off compared to Aaron Chiki's potential in the late game. Oh my goodness! Aaron Chiki with the Entropy. Very aggressive. What? Oh, what was wasn't enough to take the take down. Oh my goodness, Super again with the calculation. He finds a solo, and that is going to be TLID. Minus one. Uh oh, uh oh. Your Alpha connecting. Where is Vathway defensive? But oh Super Luke my is on stone. And Super Luke holds on, but he will fall. TLID looking for an angle. Aaron Shiki finds the connection and he will claim the double. Once again, El Momento stopped by that sliver of CC coming in from Iran. The clairvoyant, he read that one perfectly. Dude, again, the team fighting understanding, even Fabian there, knowing exactly when and where to use that Spear of Alpha to throw off the calculation of Bigatron. It's so good. Even when Super Ken came from the back and tried to flank Aeron, he was ready for it. I'm guessing it must be witty, right? We've seen it before in the golden moments. Look at, look at the replay here, presented by the obvious German smartphone, Samsung Galaxy S24 FE. It was initially uh, looking really good, but Fabian just sustained so much, and Aaron initially kind of held back because he can't dive along with his team. Oh my God! Actually, just stays in the back and does the damage. We know how witty shot calls, man. Hey, if they do A, we do B. If they do B, we do C. He has all of these Plan Bs, backup plans for his team. I think that's what's, like, what's kind of denying Bigatron any chances of catching Team Liquid ID off guard. In a way, Witty has a better code than. The robots themselves, they have better algorithm at this point. He's a programmer. We did the wise. He's an AI, meanwhile. Yep, now with the Andrew V. Hot, we have Dragon as well. Revital. Oh, oh, that's no way. That's way. That's but they will not survive. Ooh. That's Super Luke. Shred it down and he will fall as well. Iman, very low, but Aaron Shiki, he's just free hitting his man man. Now with the Andrew V. Moreno, but Fabian finds an angle to take down Iman. Three members now down and down, and TLID, they're looking for the base turrets. Oh just strikes! Ooh, can survives barely. The TLID, they can end, they can end as Moreno flickers out, but now he will have to go to the base to Burkhan! Oh, oh my the god! Connection. But Iran is just better. It's Key and Super Luke on the other side. Can they actually do it? Here we go. Pathway! Aaron Chiki will have to entropy out of the, that way. So Bigatron Alpha, they can and will defend Iran now. Trying to buy time. Inferno Bridge 2 popped, but he will. And Shirai falls. He could have a no way. And no way of Dragon. Weedy the Wise finds it, but Iran falls. Aaron Chiki on the other side claims the double. My goodness, they focus on the guy doing jumping jacks, but Aaron Chiki coming out of nowhere. Oh man, who would have thought this kind of beat down the game ain't over just yet, but so far the cavalry is absolutely dominating the robots. When we talk about the targeting of Aaron Chiki, man, he saw a low HP Super Luke and he's like, I don't care about the horse, we're the real horses, I want the damage dealers in the back. He shreds them down, Super Ken. Oh, good night. Good night, Super Ken. TLID claims the Lord. The assassin gets assassinated. What, are, what is the world that we're living in right now? We are living in Aaron's world. He is the main character. No two ways about it. Now pushing for the base tower. Really just pressuring. They can turn off a can defend without the Lord in the picture. But Iman, have the shaman horse. That will intimidate and TLID, they will take it slow. They know they have a Lord and they will utilize the Lord properly. I have to find something here. The El Momento has to be momenting. But right now, what do, do you, what do you do against this Purify coming in from oh. here? Wishing Lantern. Wishing Lantern? Rush, you have to take over. Usually we see a win of nature, I think. Because, you know, you want an extra bit of survivability, but he's going for that. You have a that what? Finds the TIG! They collapse, Amon falls, Lois Pathway, desperate one! But TLID, they're a force to be reckoned with, and with this Megatron Alpha, they will have to suffer another loss. Ladies and gentlemen, TLID is at match point! I mean, if they keep on playing like this, what is the ceiling? What is going to be end product, the end product of these youngsters? They came to the league, they conquered, all of them, 
on the second team and first team of FBL. All of them most improved 